Okay, we have Manuel Genswein visiting us from Switzerland. Manuel is a Swiss avalanche professional and he's going to walk us through a complex multiple burial and his search strip, micro search strip method and some other things. Thank you, Manuel. Good morning, everybody. I'm happy to teach this multiple burial lecture today for BCA. We have decided to make a simulation of a very complex multiple burial situation, many buried subjects in a very small radius. So we purposely simulate a scenario where the list of buried subjects, for example, here of the pulse burial box is incomplete and therefore you cannot apply the marking strategy to find all the buried subjects. As an advanced companion or professional rescuer, I recognized the situation and I decided now it's time to apply this backup search mode called analog mode and the backup search strategy, micro search strips and micro books. So I switched the device to analog mode and I start. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. At 10 in the airport approach, it's the first time we slow down and now we have to do the sound check at the same time as a more advanced rescue. So I listen to the sound. First question, is it possible that this is one only? No. Must be two or more. Is it possible that these are two only? No. So it must be three or more. Now, if I have already rescuers ready to shovel behind me, I immediately proceed to the first buried subject so it can be shoveled out immediately. 48, 43, 38, 34, 32, 29. I fall below 3. I redo the sound check. Is it possible that this is one only? Yes. So we only have one very close bar. Find search. 21, 18, 18, 20. 18, 16, 20. Very close to the snow surface now. In fine zone. 0, 05, 0, 04, 0, 06, 0, 04, 1 meter. 0, 04, first buried subject. Probing spiral, probe hit. This buried subject is found. They immediately start to excavate. I go back to 10. I go back to 10. 3, 8, 5, 3, 7, 10. Distance of 10 or lower and multiple buried subjects. This area qualifies for micro search strips. I apply now a search system which is based on a 90 de degree grid, which means the axis of the device stays locked in the same position as we would do it in fine search in a cross. I decide to go out this way first for my first micro search strip. Eight. Proceed, that must be this one. 1 3, 1 5, 1 7, 2 2, 2 8, 3 4, 3 9, 4 4, 5 4, 5 8. As the numbers get bigger, I can speed up. It's like the takeoff of the airplane. Hmm. 7 4, 8 6, 9 3, 11. 11, I have reached my boundary criteria for micro search strips. I have left a group of closely buried subjects on my right side. I continue in this direction. Micro search strip width, two to five meters forward. How many meters do I walk? Now, I hear many, many buried subjects and I have low numbers on the screen. So, I can assume that they're very close together, which means I want a high resolution search system and apply a pretty narrow grid. So rather two than five meters. 
my microsoft truck two meters down i go over eight seven seven five six six five eight four two eight two eight i'm below the three meter criteria i redo the sound check is it possible that this is one only yes is it possible that it's the one over there which they're already excavating no, that's considerably more than 3 meters, so it can't be this one. So, what do I do immediately? I call for one team of excavators. Very soon we have a second buried subject to be excavated. Point 0.8, point 0.8, one, two. Point 0.8, back to my lowest, classical grid search here. Point 0.7, point 0.4, point 0.6, point 0.4, point 0.7, point 0.4, point 0.7. Point Spiral search with the probe, the pinpoint search, successful probe hit, they're excavating the second buried object. In order to proceed, I need to go back to the spot where I have left my micro grid. Here I have left and I need to proceed in this direction. I need to go out as well on this micro search strip until 10. 1, 7, 1, 4, 2, 2, 5, 3, 2, 2, 6, 2, 2. So, the distance went up and down again. When it goes down again, it means another buried subject is approaching. So I just fell below 3 in distance indication. I redo the sound check. Is it possible that this is one only? No. Is it possible that these are two only? Yes. So, I expect Two buried subjects very close by. Two six, two three, one six, point eight, point eight, point six, point five, point seven, point five, point seven. My third buried subject is found. Probing spiral, they start to excavate it. Now we have two buried subjects which are so close together that even the two meter micro search strip width is not high enough in a resolution to, in order to solve that. So we apply the so-called micro box. Micro box, the search strategy we apply when we have multiple burials below the three meter mark. How many buried subjects do I hear? Here in very close proximity, the one that I have just found, one only. Now I measure out the size of the micro box. I go back to the direction I came from until I hear the second beep sound from the one very close by again. That's here. Suddenly the second beep sound comes in. So I walk the box. The first buried subject is now in the center of the square. And I walk the perimeter of the square in the distance I have now measured out. One three, one four, one four. I look for a particularly low number which is so small that it can't be the first one anymore. One seven, one seven, one four, one two, point eight, point eight. Can it be the one over there? No. The distance is clearly longer than point eight to the first one, so it has to be a new buried subject. Point six, point four, point four, point six, point four, point seven. So we have found buried subject number four. In order to proceed, I would have to go back to where I left my grid. If you know you're looking for four buried subjects, the search is concluded. If you are not sure, we have to finish the microgrid. So I would have to proceed out, finish this line here until 10. Two to five meters forward, next micro search strips. Two to five meters forward, next micro search strips. Do I search them? remaining avalanche all with micro search strips no because as soon as i he hear a line with all distances of 10 or higher i don't fulfill the criteria of multiple burials in close proximity anymore and therefore i don't need to apply micro search strips anymore and we can search the remaining debris maybe still a large surface with our standard signal search strip width of, for example, 50 meters for this transceiver model or whatever your transceiver allows you to do. I hope that you have learned something in this little session about multiple burials in close proximity. 
Thank you very much to BCA to invite me to teach this session. Yeah, okay. you